Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? I hope you guys are having a fantastic night, day, whenever you're watching this. Guys, this is breaking news, but kind of old news, you know, from today, and then older news from the past. Uh, today, Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco gets traded to the New York Mets for Ahmed Rosario, Jim Wolf. Some outfielder and another infielder. I don't know their names by heart. That's why I said that. I just looked like maybe 40 minutes ago who got traded. But I can't remember uh, two of their names. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. So, let's get down to the point here. Francisco Lindor gets traded to New York. And Ahmed Rosario goes to Cleveland. That is a fantastic trade for the Mets. In my opinion, even though Francisco Lindor is expecting cash here soon. Because his contract was coming up with the Indians, so they shipped him off to New York. And now he's a New York Met. Ahmed Rosario, on the other case, I feel like he was liked in New York. But he wasn't people's favorite shortstop and now in New York. Not favorite shortstop in New York. Uh, and as a Mets fan, like he, I feel like he had potential. But again, you're getting Francisco Lindor. And now that's kind of good news as a Dodger fan that Francisco Lindor gets traded to the Mets because now the Dodgers can look at signing Corey Seager for an extension. Maybe trade, I mean, maybe getting Nolan Arenado. Yeah, trading for Nolan Arenado. Maybe signing DJ LeMayu. You never know what the Dodgers might do now. I hope they go after Nolan instead of DJ personally, but at the end of the day, we could use a second baseman or a third baseman. So, you know, and there's a lot of rumors saying that Justin Turner wants a four-year deal and the Dodgers just want to go two with him. At the age of 36, man, like I've said before and I'll say it again, if I was Justin Turner, I'd just hang up the cleats, call it a career, even though he's still pretty young, but call it a career. You just won a World Series and will you ever do it again? Uh, he might, depending on the team he goes to. And personally, if I was him, I'd be trying to aim for the Dodgers or an AL team. Besides that, then there's a no deal. All right, let's get to some old Dodgers news. Earlier this week, they have signed Blake Trinan back to the Dodgers for a two-year deal, which is fantastic because, honestly, he had a breakout season last year for us, even though it was a 60-game se se yeah, season. So that's where, like, I kind of think, like, all right, can you go 162 with the Dodgers? Can you show why we signed you for a two-year deal? And then Corey Knebel, I don't think I've mentioned this on the channel, and maybe I have. The Dodgers got him a, like a month ago from the uh, good old uh, Milwaukee Brewers, and he's coming off of Tommy John surgery. We got Tommy Kale, Kalen, Kale, whatever the hell his name is. We got him from the Yankees. Well, we signed in free agency. He is coming off of a Tommy John surgery. So we have two pitchers who are coming off of Tommy John surgeries. But at the end of the day, they're both really, well, yeah, they're both really good, especially Corey Knebel against LA. Man, he absolutely dominated. So as the Padres are making their starting rotation look strong, the Dodgers keep on adding to the bullpen, which I like, but I really feel like we need to make a trade for Nolan Arenado or sign DJ LeMayu. Both of them can play. Well, Nolan's the third base guy. But DJ LeMayu, he's kind of a utility guy, man. In New York, he played first. He played he played second. I Maybe a few games he played short. I'm not too sure. But he also played third. So getting DJ LeMayu would not hurt the Dodgers in any type of way. But with Jock Peterson being a free agent, Kike Hernandez, uh, Justin Turner... Jimmy Nelson, but he was never on the roster last year. Uh, who else is a free agent? Those are the top three I know of. You know, Jock, you know, might not come back to L.A., you know. And, and personally, if I was Jock Peterson, you've been on this team for years. And last year, they tried to trade you to the Angels. The trade didn't go through. You stuck with the Dodgers. You won a World Series. If I was him, I'd take it personally, and I would go to a different team if I was Jock Peterson. Just because I feel like, as a fan, 
I as much as I enjoyed Jack Peterson on the Dodgers, and I don't want him to go, but him in in the personal in his personal life where he almost gets traded to the Angels and then the trade falls through, like the Dodgers were wanting to trade you. It's probably not because you're a bad player. It's probably because well, he's not a bad player. I I don't know why they would want to trade him. Probably because we have AJ Pollock, but he's on his last year I think now. So. I'd rather resign Jock Peterson over AJ Pollock. But we'll see what they do. But that is some MLB news I got for you guys. Uh, Lindor's a Met. Carlos Carrasco's a Met. Matt Rosario is now a, a Cleveland baseball team, Indian. I don't know what else to call them right now because they don't have a name. So we'll see what happens. So uh, I'm going to have to, you know, shut down these lights and get ready to go home. So uh, I, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully, the Dodgers make a big move. I'm waiting for it. And I think a lot of people are, anti are anticipating for it. So, uh, we'll see. Oh, oh.